Hello my loves and welcome back. I hope that you are doing super well today. So what we're going to do today is a what happens next reading. Um, just a couple of updates before we get going. So I am a uh, kind of going to hospital a little bit at the moment with the pregnancy um, and it looks like our baby's going to be delivered a little bit early. So where I'm talking about maternity leave, I would just advise you guys that if you do want readings or magic or voice note readings that you book sooner rather than later because um, I, I have packed the hospital bag ready to go in case they say right she's got to come out all of a sudden. Um, so just being aware of that please. Um, and the other things, um, maternity leave, I have planned it all, I have recorded everything in advance for you now um, and there will still be videos coming out each week for you on the channel, cards of the day are still going to be coming out. I am allowed to work occasional days as well so please follow me on Instagram where you will find out when those days, days are specifically going to be. Um, don't know how long I'm going to have off. I'm meant to have nine months off, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that this time around. I enjoy you all too much. I can't let you go. Um, but I will be having some time off definitely for healing um, and then working the occasional days as well. And then when I'm feeling ready and up for it, uh, there might might be an earlier return so you'll find out all the information on instagram and i'll keep you posted she i'd say she's getting big but they say she's small and uh, so she's out here at the moment um not where she should be little madam giving me giving me grief before she even gets there and uh, not where she should be um but you know it's uh that's why they're monitoring her and what she's up to so now I've given you the updates, what we're going to do is what happens next between the two of you. And I have two decks for you to pick from. This is the Robin Wood Tarot and this is the Dream... No, Shadowscapes Tarot. I haven't used these decks in a while. Robin Wood Shadowscapes. And I want you to think about you and think about your person. As always, it will work on the collective energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, don't sweat the small stuff remember it for a later date because it'll probably come up and if you need me for individual readings like I say book me now before I go on maternity so I'm just going into yours and your person's energy that you're asking about and I'm going to make it quite a quick reading today guys I'm sorry about that um but I have so much to get on with oh you know just while you've got a massive pregnancy bump let's throw all the cards onto the floor <laughs> Let's throw them on the floor <laughs> so you can go and do your exercise. Right, what happens next between the two of you? So we've got the Four of Wands coming up. We've got the Four of Swords coming up. We've got the Ten of Swords. Oh, joy, so joy. And let's just get one more. What's going to happen next between you guys? We've got the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so I said one more. The cards spoke differently. Let's start the, the, where we are at the moment. Ten of Swords, there has been an ending in this situation. Things have come to a bit of a close. And if that hasn't happened yet, um, I do apologise that this is kind of what the next steps are. It looks like things have got to come to a close. And the reason why that that has got to happen is so that they can be rebuilt in a more positive direction. So things have been quite difficult around you guys recently. I feel that there's been a lot of mental anguish. There's been a lot of thoughts going on. There's been a lot of voicing opinions, voicing how you're feeling. And you might have felt that you've been hit with a bit of a brick wall and not much has really progressed. And this is why this kind of ending has got to happen. So there has to be an ending for things to be rebirthed in a different direction. So what's going to happen is this kind of coming to a bit of a close. There's going to be a bit of healing time that comes with it with the four of ones. OK, so an ending that brings healing. You're going to need to look after yourselves. You're going to rest from the situation. You're going to have some downtime. You're going to have some calming mind time, really focusing on yourself, focusing on your energy and having that space to heal from all this pain that's been going on between you guys recently. 
And when that happens and you start to heal, we have this communication coming in from the person that you're asking about. So all of this pain here is quite short lived. They will be returning to you. They will be making movement of communication with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, it might be a slower process of them coming back to talk to you. You might find that it that they, you feel they're on the pace of a snail. Like, where are they? What's going on? Um, but they will be returning to you and making movement and communicating with you. The kind of communication that you can expect is going to be a lot more stable and it's going to be a lot more secure so where things were very in the mind before it's changing the frequency of this is changing through healing to a place that's much more stable and secure so when they do come back to you they're going to make an offering that is based on stability okay so perhaps relationship shall we build a relationship let's heal from all of this let's write down the lessons that we learned let's grow let's make movement okay so positive energy coming up here we've got the ace of swords coming next when we're talking about cutting through the bullshit so where all this pain was before once they come back in touch with you, once they speak to you, you've got this new energy, this fresh energy coming through that says, let's, you know, curb it on the head where things were before. Let's not revisit that. Let's start afresh. Let's start again. And this is where your celebration comes in. Um, and you've got that planning of a future. You've got your parties, your weddings, your celebrations, your engagements, your joy, your happiness. So for all, in order to get to this point over here with the celebration, it's like a journey. We have a very strong journey going on over here. So an ending that leads to healing, that leads to messages, that leads to cutting through the bullshit, to starting again. So that's it in short, basically. That's what's going to happen next. Um, advice for you guys over it all at the moment is very much about taking your time, healing yourself, looking after yourself, taking the time to just do things that you enjoy. Any advice for these guys? Oh, on deck number one. So we've got the eight of cups. So advice for you guys as well, um, taking a step back from the situation too, you need to have this healing time. Um, so rather than kind of chasing it, if it's gone to a little bit of shit, tits up, a little bit of peak tongue, whatever you want to phrase it, um, taking this time away from the situation to give yourself that healing will also be very, very beneficial for you. OK, um, so walking away from that, which no longer serves you, it will come back round again. Um, in the words of Cindy Lauper, coming around again. But it's just about rebuilding now in the pathway and direction that you want to tread. The other card that's staring me at the top of the face, I'm going to take it off as well, is the Ten of Pentacles. So if you are trying to heal from the situation, spend time with those that you love. Um, spend time with family. Spend time with those people that care about you. And you will heal just in time for them to just in time for them to reach back out in touch with you. And that's day number one. Told you it was super fast. I feel like reading quickly today. We are in a quick speed mood. Okay, so I'm shooting over to deck number two. So hi guys, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, um, I've just given you some maternity updates at the start of the reading. Um, so go and have a listen to that to find out about what's happening. Um, and today I'm just going to do a quick reading on what's going to happen next between you guys. What's going to happen next between you guys? You and the person that you're asking about. So we're going into a future energy today. Uh, regardless of when you watch it, it's how psychics work. We tap into the past, the present and the future all in one go. So we've got seven of swords. Great. Good star. What's going to happen next to you guys? So what I'm hearing is... Um, as the Seven of Swords is jumping out, I'm looking at the man in the mirror and I'm asking him to change his ways, which I believe was a Michael Jackson song. Um, but also Spirit are saying to me that there's any masks that your person that you're asking about is wearing, um, they are going to be put down. So they, they've been wearing a bit of a mask from themselves with this connection and not really embracing it. They've been hiding away from emotions, Ooh. hiding away from thoughts, hiding away from the whole connection. Um, and it looks now like there is a shift in that energy and there is a change. So anywhere that they've been holding on to this connection and perhaps in a bit of a detriment to you and the relationship, these 
masks are going to be put down and information is going to come to light for you. It looks like they've been very much in their head over it um, and now the change and shift and change in frequency between you and them means that they are going to take more of a risk in the two of you coming together. So there's been a change. Let me just see what caused the change. What's caused the change in this connection or about to cause the change? We know we've got that song, so Knight of Pentacles coming up. So we know that they're kind of reflecting on everything that they want with that song. I'm looking at the man in the mirror, asking him to change his ways. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is them having this realisation that they want to make slow, steady movement towards you, build solid foundations, take a risk on this relationship with the Seven of Swords. Let go of anywhere that they've lied to themselves over it all and progress the relationship forward, which is where the fool comes in. So the next card jumping up for you guys is talking about them taking a leap of faith and taking a new shot at a new beginning. So they're going to release the mask, they are going to make slow, steady movement towards you, and there is going to be these new beginnings that come with it. Taking a leap of faith, taking that new chance. Okay, they're shooting for the stars, they know what they want. Um, and like I said, the reason why it's changed is because they're having self-reflection. The next card along with the Fool is the Queen of Wands. So we've got this passionate energy coming up towards you as well. They've realised their emotions for you. They've realised their desire for you. They've realised there's a desire on building this connection up. Positive stuff. They've realised, okay? State of realisation is always great for any kind of relationship. Um, so that desire and sexual chemistry between the two of you also bringing this forward that they know they want to commit more to you at the moment. You got the star as well popping up next for about being on the right path. So moving things forward between the two of you, making progression routes, two cards of movement coming up over here. They know what they want and they are going for it. And that involves you with the fool and the queen of wands coming up. They know what they want. And the last card you got over here is the six of swords. So again, talking about floating away from that which no longer serves them um, and making these progression routes towards you. Now, normally the Six of Swords is two people on a boat. So this would suggest to me that the two of you would be moving forward together from this connection. You might also find that your person does decide that they want to travel or that they might go a little, you might sometimes find they're a little bit hot and cold with you. Um, but the overall feeling of what happens next is them making headway towards being in a relationship with you and seeing where you guys end up. There's being on the right path, there's taking a new beginning, there's movement heading forward and there's them surrendering and releasing all those fears that have held them back. And that's deck number two. So I know it's super fast today. Super, super, super speedy reading. Um, if you do need me uh, for voice note readings, I have got same day return on them on Instagram at the moment or Facebook. Not that I'm very good at using the Facebook, but I will. Um, if you only have Facebook, Mystic Love Tarot, you'll find me. Little blue tick. Though I don't have a tick on Facebook, but you'll find me. There's only one Mystic Love Tarot. Um same day return on them. Video readings I have space for before maternity leave. Um, but obviously I need that little bit of leniency should I go uh, need to deliver early, as I said at the start. Um, and I think that's everything. So yeah, super fast reading today, guys. Thanks for tapping in, tuning in and turning on with me. And I'll speak to you all later. Ciao.